Hi guys and welcome back to Tommy Starcraft, this is your host Tommy and finally the channel is back online so I'm really really happy and very very grateful and thankful to everyone who worked for this. So I'm finally able once again to post some new replays here and we're gonna start with a great great two game replayer here in between the Zealot here spawning in the upper right as the yellow Zerg and his opponent of course some of you guys may know him. It, he, he's considered of course one of the best Terrans if not the best Terrans and actually the greatest gamer who has ever lived it is of course flash here spawning as the teal Terran here of course you guys know it's 2022 flash is currently serving in the south korean army but i'm sure he's going to come back uh, to starcraft i'm really really sure about it to gaming as we've seen it of course happening with jadong jadong also now fighting in the asl season 13 piece as well and yeah flash sadly in the army i hope he gets uh, treated right here so yeah, Terran vs Zerg it is here on a 4 spawning location map, we see Flash opening up here with his supply depot. Notice how he's placing here supply depot next to his command center, perhaps to allow some gap here for some marines and also give those SCVs a little bit of protection. Let's just see what Zealot is going for, interesting nickname here for Zealot, but he's actually playing Zerg, so no Protoss players, two overlords are out. No spawning pools, so this will very likely indicate to us that he's going for a fast expansion build. And also sending out here a scouting drone indeed yes indeed it's going for that fast expansion here and drone is already out of course scouting is very important in starcraft as it is in warcraft 3 as well so both players at the 1 minute and 50 second mark sending out here their scouts just to know exactly where their opponents are hiding here we have flash with his barracks so pretty standard stuff here by him nothing out of the ordinary no wishes to rush uh, the opponent with some barracks perhaps in the middle of the map here so yeah, Overlord slowly but sadly comes in, he should be able to see that barracks really really soon. And let's just check once again the Zerg main. We have that extractor into spawning pool here, 40 workers for uh, Flash, 10 here for Zealot finally. Flash has scouted this location, keeps moving on, there's a second SCV perhaps for expansion. No actually, Flash is still scouting here so he really wishes to know where exactly uh, Zealot is hiding. There is that Overlord here. And now finally Flash is going to return of course this SCV as he now knows where his opponent is hiding. Of course from the thumbnail you saw that Flash is going to face some Guardians and Devourers here into this game. Let's just see how he's going to be doing. Of course Guardians really really strong against any ground units. There we have that expansion immediately started of course because Flash saw this early expansion here from Zealot. And yeah, spawning pool up, I guess is being mined. And there we have the tier 2 upgrade being scouted here by this SCV at the 3 minute mark. So really nice uh, build order here by the Zerg versus Flash. Let's check Flash's main. Just one barracks, another supply depot here and that expansion with, I believe it should be a supply depot of course, just to perhaps prepare a wall in here against uh, Zealots. So yeah, pretty ordinary stuff by both players really really nice first earlings are out was just to chase here this scv away this scv away uh, is very important here for flash just to see the next building here from the zerg is it going to be a spire perhaps a hydralis then but yeah it's a little bit of a spoiler for you guys as of course you know it will be guardians with devourers and how flash is going to react to that how is he going to see what's going on perhaps he's going to add here a uh, scan and we already have many many zerglings here but a nice trick here by flash he brings another scv in just to see exactly what the next building is going to be there's that tier to upgrade and we have it should be a spire yes indeed spire so now flash no he was a pretty standard open up here by the zerg he's up against mutilisk of course you guys know many zergs really like to go for mutilisk just to harass here the middle line from the terrans just to harass those marines so this is exactly why Many Terrans really like to put some ter uh, turrets here into these locations just to have that uh, defense here. Now first Zerglings are coming in, nice micro here by the Zerg, but this bunker is filled with Marines and even two Marines here just to block the entrance here. So nice, nice stuff here by uh, Bash of course and he might, I saw this was a drone but no, uh, should be a, another expansion here by um, Zealot and of course you know Flash has no idea about this, so we're at the 5 minute mark and a nice expansion here by Zealot. Worker-wise, good workers here for Flash, 28 versus 21. 
the gap here is a little bit open and there is speed being upgraded here by Zealot. Nice B line here by him. And yeah, Flash is still producing workers. Let's check his main. Just two barracks here. Engineering Bay for those stewards. The Spire is about to finish really, really soon. And yeah, nice, nice stuff here by the Zerg. Just to check in case Flash wishes to move out with some Marines, with some medics perhaps. Still, this is really risky. I think that some Zerglings might come here through. But then again, Flash has those Marines in the higher ground. So they should be fine now. The engineering bay is finished. There are the first turrets here, turrets here into this location. And the Zerglings are still just roaming around here. And I believe the first Mutalisk should also be produced here really, really soon. Oh yeah, there are six Mutalisk. It should be here for the Zerg. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, indeed. Six Mutalisk here for him. As Mosey, yes, he's moving forward. But Flash is already going to finish here. His second turret, he has those marines, stim should be ready here, and yes indeed, so marines with stim really really good against those mutilisk, and in comes some mutilisk, one SCB has been sniped, but Flash should of course be able to hold this position against all of those mutilisk, two already pretty much hurt here, some marines are still into this bunker, nice uh, micro here with those uh, mutilisk, and more mutilisk are coming in here, it's always very very annoying of course to face those mutilisk, S is also nicely abusing here this Falco 4 ledge, but there is of course the supply depot just to give vision. So pretty good harassment here for Zealot against uh, the Marines from Flash. Once again he's going to snipe one Marine after the other. He's perhaps even going to take out here this bunker or this supply depot. So really really nice stuff. Perhaps a little bit out of positions turrets here, but of course Flash wishing to uh, protect the mineral line here. And still tier 2 here, there we have a queen's nest here from um, Zealot and once again more and more mutilists are coming in here, so it's mass mutilists. Yeah, Flash is just lacking some turrets here into these positions. I said before him he's going to lose so, so many marines here, so really really great job here by Zealot Micron, those mutilists. He even might win this engagement, but now there are those turrets and more and more marines are being produced, even another barracks here being produced. And we have one factory here for Flash, so he might add some siege tanks here. And yeah, some uh, marines are really, really hurted, but so are those uh, mutilisk here. So, income to mutilisk with that great harassment, of course, if you're a Zerg player against a Terran. This is really, really nice stuff here. Just kite those mutilisk back and forth, keep those bouncing balls of the mutilisk here, damaging all of those uh, buildings. And more and more reinforcements are coming in here soon for. Zealot as he's once again attacking, but his mutilisk, he should be careful. He's just nicely microing the hurted mutilisk here back and just joins in with new forces here. Yes, he's now moving around here, but there's so so many turrets, so he needs to be careful here. And also, my wings with steam. So, once again, look at that nice micro. He just leaves the hurted mutilisk in the back, and the new mutilisk are ready to engage here once again just to kill some marines, some SCVs. Really, really nice stuff here by him. This one mutilisk might join in the fun. And yeah, more and more marines are popping out here. More and more barracks are being produced here by, uh, by Flash, by the Terran. And yeah, this is harassment. It's really, really strong here by uh, Zealot S. He also has here his expansion up and going into this position at the minimum. And now he even might snipe here this bunker. So really, really nice job here by uh, Zealot against those marines from Flash here. And yeah, let's just see. How things will unfold once again. He's going to come in here with those mutilisks. He's going to kite him once again back and forward. But some mutilisks are already taking good, good damage here. And yeah, look at this nice uh, HP regeneration here of those mutilisks. As once again the, the kiting is going to start here. I don't know for how long the one weapons upgrades has been finished here for Flash. He has that starport and of course he's going for some science vessels and even a race here. Perhaps a race for some scouting purposes here. And yeah, let's just have a look how things will unfold. Of course, there should be a TS3. There's the TS3 and there's that greater spire here for, uh, for Zealot at a 10 minute mark. It should finish a really, really nice rush here from Zealot with those Guardians. But remember, Ash, if he goes for Science Vessel, of course, he has that Irradiance and Irradiance, a great, great counter against all of those uh, Guardians as they're really strong against the ground units. And this is, I guess, what... Uh, Zealot is hoping for, but remember Flash has two uh, starports here, so Grace, of course, great counter against 
all of those guardians and here are those guardians eggs here being spawned four guardian eggs here and there's still the great great harassment here is going on here by zealot as more and more more wins are going to fall in here and once again he's migrating his mutilisk in the back the herded mutilisk are being spawned into guardians and some zerglings are even being brought here through so great great stuff here but race uh, clash with two race one science vessel and here we go we should have a great engagement in here some overlords are being prepared so in comes the scan here by flash now he finally knows what is going on there is a guardian rush here by uh, zealot and here we go the marines are standing up they're faster here of course than the guardians some guardians will fall but look at all of those marines who are falling here in from the race here and but there is a devourer here with that purple smoke here getting so much damage and all of the marines all of a sudden have fallen here for flash so what can flash do here even some guardians are being left alive some race are being here the marines are coming in just to reinforce it and here we go once again the devourers with that purple smoke here against those rays looking very very beautiful here and in come the mutilisk here as well so once again so much has been lost here by flash flash is in some serious serious trouble as guardians are still alive some mutilis are still alive and even more and more guardians are being spawned here so really really great rush here by zealot a nice nice tactics here if you are a zerg player just dealing so much damage and flash even has to uplift here his expansion in come those devours once again with that purple smoke looking very very beautiful here just like a fruit and yeah some wraiths are being of course now being spawned here by flash but will it be enough here of course overlords are in position just to see the cloaked wraiths and more and more guardians are being thrown here towards flash flash is in some serious serious trouble wraiths are here there is that science vessel in come the devourers of course just to deal that good damage against those air units and yeah this looks like a really really strong push no more mutilists are being left alive oh hold on here they are and yeah, just mutilist guardians and devourers here. Look at that once again. Good, good splash damage. I believe they do splash damage here with that purple uh, smoke, with that purple fruit uh, looking like a uh, attack. Really, really nice. And there is also a damage here against those air units. And this, it has to be, of course, the GG. So great, great rush here by Zealot. So if you're a Zerg player, this looks really really strong firstly he harassed here flash with those mutilists killing as many marines as possible and remember he also had here this uh, expansion that was pumping out more and more minerals and yeah really really nice stuff mutilist guardians and devourers here great great stuff here by zealot but remember it's a two game here so let's just check the statistics really really quick in case you guys are interested uh, we're going to really soon going to jump into game number two just to allow you a little bit just to watch those resources and so on yeah let's just jump straight into game number two really really quick as this was where it is this was game number one and let's just jump straight into game number two here so once again terran versus zerg it is here also a four spawning location map this time the locations are a little bit different in the upper right in the red it is zealot here as the zerg and once again in the teal it is flash in the low right so flash really struggling here against this rush very out of the ordinary gameplay here by zealot with those uh, mutilis great harassment here with those mutilis and remember how nicely he microed those mutilis in the back and then just later transformed them into some guardians and those devourers with uh, that purple smoke uh, yeah like throwing fruits uh, blueberries i believe <laughs> blackberries and so on yeah really really nice stuff here by um, zealot against his opponent and yeah, let's just see how things will unfold here now once again as flash is moving out here really really far with his barracks interesting stuff perhaps he's preparing a early aggressive move here still no supply depot so yeah he went straight into barracks first here really really good stuff here by him and still once again no spawning pool so i believe that zealot will very likely go once again into that same build order second overlord with fast expansion into scout so yeah there's that supply depot once again here for flash but the difference here for him is just placing here this barracks really really far out on the map so yeah like i told you it will very likely indicate to us that he's going to be or he wishes to be much much more aggressive here into this game perhaps even considering a rush with some SCVs with some marines here so yeah let's just see how flash is going to react after losing game number one here 
there is that expansion there is that second overlord or could be a drone it is a drone and very likely zealot is going to continue into an extractor with spawning pool or ec as we're about to find out of course both players are sending out here their scouts once again on the map there is that drone marine intercepted so flash should know of course now where um, zealot is hiding there is actually spawning pool first now so no extractor here for zealot interestingly enough here as his expansion is about to finish but hold on there we have flash you know being aggressive early on with that one scv but the drones are already there here to surround this bunker and even might snipe here this one scv second scv is coming in here so remember all of those six drones are currently not mining here so nice early harassment this time by flash of course flash has to be aggressive there's even seven drones now here for uh for a zealot here as he has to push back this early aggression so this was the idea here for flash good good stuff here by him denying that mining one drone even has been sniped the win will fall here so great micro here by both players but two marines really really strong even as these are happening out another marine is coming in for early great game here by flash as he's sniping here three drones of course he's lost one marine but in the end actually four drones and look at that a zealot at only eight workers now and he might even lose more and more as the two SCVs in the front are dealing so much good damage here as well so the aggression has been done here by flash seven workers only here for zealot so early early handicap here by zealot against his opponent so income the zerglings is there a bunker no there's no expansion here so flash pretty much through all of his economy here against uh, zealot zealot slowly but slowly leaking here his wounds he's at nine workers he has to of course produce more there's that gas being finished here more and more drones are being produced income the zerglings but the high ground here is now taken by flash no expansion there for him needed as it's just here six uh, zerglings into this location not to allow that expansion but remember terrence can of course build that expansion here into this location and this might actually be that expansion yes indeed there it is so nice nice stuff here by the turn you will up float it and then just uh, down float it there and even another uh, barracks here so early really really strong game here by flash as we're closing that the five minute marks the scvs are even repairing here each other and yeah like i told you um zealot has to lick his wounds he's even preparing here early defensive uh Duncan, and there is that tier 2 upgrade not that fast at, as in first game of course first game was much much more easier here for him as flash wasn't that aggressive here now flash on a defense but remember his expansion is up he's up six workers here after dealing so much economic damage here towards his opponents of so sinks this time look really really stronger here really really better here for flash but remember once again those guardians Look really really strong and those devourers as well strong anti-air with those overlords for detection flash at the two barracks gas is up some academy should be finished really really soon for that steam you guys know steam is really much needed here for those marines and income the scvs with the marines so this location will be of course held here by flash as is a 23 but look at that zealot is uh, coming fast from behind with 21 workers here and flash at 23 so holy but sadly things have settled down here more and more marines are being produced some medics should follow up really really soon here for flash as he's once again going for that same uh, tactics here against his opponent there's that sunk another gas is being built and he might take here once again this expansion so here yeah, what's he building perhaps another engineering bay as he's expecting some mutilisk there's that spire here for uh, zealot is there a scan there is no scan available yet here for flash and but he's of course expecting that uh, that mutilisk harassment there is that first scan i'm pretty sure he's going to scan that uh, main really really quick marines are out no medics yet here for flash as we're slowly but sadly closing at a 10 minute mark here and yeah scan has went up so i'm pretty sure he did scan here this location two medics many many marines so scan uh, scan sorry uh, flash decides now to move out there are no defenses no bunkers here so he needs to be careful against those uh zerglings here so zerglings will just follow up here at the front but the scvs could be no flash actually over here a surprise against those zerglings as the fire bats perfect counter with that splash damage 
against all of those zerlings one fire bat has fallen of course all of those zerlings are really really low but at the same time remember flash is moving out here with his army and there is fire bat should hold and there is our flash's army or is he no there's three sunken here so of course he has to return home just to be a little bit more defensive and the first turrets will also be up so nice nice job here by zealot with those sunken here against flash so yeah flash has to return first mid list should also come out really really soon and there is that expansion here at the three o'clock no that's the nine o'clock position here by zealot so pretty good stuff good uh, defense here of course by flash being prepared and yeah we're about to find out what exactly is going to happen is zealot once again going for that tier group three push the first uh Mutilis are out here, there's just four of them, the flash should be able to hold five actually here, so of course one SCV has been sniped, but the Mutilis will also fall really, really low on HP, as another Mutilis is coming in here, so six Mutilis here really soon to be here by a Zealot once again, the harassment should be really strong here by him, flash turret's placement once again at the same position here, just like in game number one, and yeah, Marines with Steam, that Mandic is also nicely healing them as more and more reinforcements are coming in. We actually have now 8 uh, Mutilisk here for Zealot. So once again, he's going to try to kite them really, really nicely back and forward just to deal that good harassment. Two barracks this time, only one factory and one starport. Flash deciding to go perhaps for an earlier uh, science vessel here against his opponent. It's also Muni Mutilisk now here being prepared. Or Zealot as he's coming in here, so there's three turrets here almost being finished. He's going to perhaps just fly straight towards that expansion. One SCV has been finished. Other SCVs have to be micro back as the Marines have to come here forward. One Mutilis has fallen here as well. A good spread here by uh, Flash Widow's medics, so a little bit of a bad position here for uh, Zealot perhaps with his Mutilisk. Only eight Mutilisk are being left, but those Mutilisk of course needed here just to stop any mining here from a flash look at that flash with all of his SCVs next to that gas chamber here and yeah well, let's just see what exactly is going to come on the income the mutilis with steam in a good position and mutilis will fall some marines will fall here as well only six now five mutilis being left here for zealot many many marines have fallen here as well but in the end flash had to do this as he had to continue that mining really really important here so it's two even three now of mutilis being left so much hurted and now in come those turrets and of course many more uh, mutilis might fall here no luckily here for zealot he did make it out alive with those mutilis but in come the reinforcements here all of a sudden how many mutilis does he have once again 10 mutilis this time one is much hurted but a great great harassment once again here by zealot with his mutilis so flash once again in some serious serious trouble here as mining has also been denied here so the marines would range or the only defense now here into this position perhaps flash could have placed a turret here but then again he knows so much better here uh, against me so yeah really, really good stuff but the science vessel is also being prepared here and with that science vessel she should be able of course to hold off this attack once and for all with that irradiance irradiance perfect counter here against any zerg and now uh and it has to retreat but remember he does this harassment just to give time for his expansion here just like in game now yeah he's going for mass mass mutilis here is there a tier 3 yes indeed tier 3 so we might see the same tactics here for uh, zealot once again he's going to deny the mining here there's that one turret really important here for flash flash at 32 workers versus the 29 here so zealot looking really really strong once again in game number two here against flash there's that science vessel so waiting for that mana for that irradiance more and more marines are falling in comes the uh, irradiance here and now so much splash damage is being dealt with that irradiance here with micro here but so so many mutilis are hurted here so zealot has to retreat he did lose so so many more mutilis this time he didn't allow that micro back with those hurted mutilis just went straight through he really wishes to finish here this job and once again the science person not that much mana here for him being left as the harassment is going here through the past uh, 10 minute mark flash still not allowed here to mine zealot will doing a really really nice job here showing us the strength of the harassment here of those mutilisks of flash in a little bit of trouble there is his second science vessel so he might see once again a irradiance and six mutilisk it is here for zealot this time but zealot had more workers here against 
flash so flash really needs to be doing something here the harassment will continue there's this one race here and perhaps he's going into many many more race indeed with those two race he should be okay with that irradiance as well and yeah there's that irradiance that race will engage really really soon and i don't know what zelop is exactly doing here it's going to take so much splash damage here so a little bit of a miss micro here by him but it happens and in our three race now here for flash so sadly here for Zealot he did pretty much lose, yes indeed, all of his Mutalisk, so that the move out here is going to be happen here by Flash. So this time Flash with a great, great harassment and so, so given the fact that so, so many Mutalisk have fallen, of course, that Guardians and Devourers wouldn't have done that much damage here against Flash. So one to one it is, sadly I didn't find the third game here and even more games here, but really nice tactic here shown by both players great harassment here by zealot well, not allowing here this mining into this position by flash but this time flash with those two science vessel irradiance and brace being successful here and holding off this attack once again let's just check those stats if you guys are interested into that once again i'm going to be clicking left and right here so once again i hope you guys enjoyed these two replays here i'm going to search of course for many more replays because flash is considered of course to be one of the best gamers like i told you if not the best gamer and yeah best of luck to him in the south korean army once again hope you guys enjoyed we'll be seeing of course in the next replays i'm going to try to upload a daily basis if my work schedule allows it so yeah thank you guys once again for the nice words uh, this is your host tommy signing out